Hello, welcome to this video. This includes a new topic that is regarding the pointers. I have uh, told you about, I have discussed about pointers, use of pointers, how it can be declared, and what are the you know applications of uh, pointers, null pointer, examples of you know using pointers and everything. Here now, let us see. As I told you before, one of the striking advantage of uh, pointers is about to access elements of an array okay so suppose we have got a array having number of elements and if you have to call any number out of that it is easier though you won't understand that easiness when you actually write the program because it includes you know uh, all po pointer uh, grammar and everything but when it comes to the execution speed uh, if you are using pointers that's really good so that's one of the striking advantage of pointers to use to access elements of array instead of normally how do we access the points of I mean elements of array using the index for example if you have a of 3 so I'm defining a an array as a as you can see in this particular uh, screen you can see a of 3 equal to 146 that means a of size 3 that means it has got size 3 then a of 0 would be 1 a of 1 would be 4 and a of 2 would be 6 so we normally access the array by using the index a of 0 if you have to uh, call the first element we call it as a of 0 so if, if we call a of 0 you will get 1 if you call a of 1 you will get 4 and if you go if you call a of 2 you will get 6 now let's see how using pointer we can access different elements and and address of the elements <coughs> now uh, so uh, let me open the whiteboard so what we have I have shown you there is a of size 3 I if I declare an array of size 3 having name a then it would be i if i declare it this way 1 4 and 6 okay this is the array i have declared over there and if i am and if i am interested if i am interested to know how this is being stored so let's say it has got array and it will allocate enough enough memory to accommodate all these elements so let's say these are the three space wherein you are going to store in the memory so this this let me call this as a of 0 a of 1 and this is a of 2 and let's say the address of this particular element that is not a of 0 that's we are referring to a of 0 but actual address as I said it would be like let's let's put something like uh, 2000 this is 2002 and this is 2004 okay these are the address of these three uh, positions where you are going memory locations and it is stored here it is one it is element here it is four and here it is six this is clear this is how an array is being stored and its address would be looking like this I hope it is clear now <coughs> if I if I need to if I sorry uh, now if I use pointer so suppose if I am simply using a okay if I am simply using a that indicates if I simply use the name a or, or the variable a that indicate the address of zeroth element that indicate the address of the zeroth element that's a speciality when you are defining an array the array name without using the bracket that indicate the address of zeroth element of that particular array so this indicate the address of a of 0 a of 
0. I hope it is clear. That means A of 0 is that is equal to 2000. Address of A of 0 that is equal to 2000. I hope this is clear. I am going to wrap this portion to have uh, let me see if I can continue with this. No. No. So, uh, sorry. Okay. Now, uh, let me wrap this portion. So, now you understood that first element address A indicates the address of first element that is a zeroth element. Now, I can store this particular one. I can store the first element address in another variable. Let us say b, b equal to a, okay, b equal to a, where b is a pointer, okay, b is a pointer indicating the address of a of 0, a of 0. If we put b equal to a, now what would be? b plus plus that is b equal to b plus 1 that will indicate the address of this will indicate address address of address of a of 1 now you can ask me why why am i putting another variable b over here why can't i simply use a plus plus no we can't use that we cannot use any increment or decrement operator along with the array name. So that is why I am simply using b equal to a. Okay. Now if I say, now if I say you know that b equal to a, you know that b equal to a and you have got b plus plus indicate the address of indicate the address of a of 1 then what would be b plus 2 suppose i have i don't have i don't have this if i simply write b plus uh, because we have got only three elements in that particular array so if i write so that array if i again write over here Okay, this was 1, this was 4 and this was 6. Okay, 2000, 2002 and 2004 over here. So, this was A of 0, A of 1 and A of 2. Now, if I write B plus plus, it will indicate since B equal to A because a is the address of 0th element. A is equal to ampersand A of 0. So, B equal to A indicate the 0th element address. Now, if I am putting B plus 2, B plus 2 will give me the address of that will give me the address of A of 2. That will give me the address of A of 2. Okay. So, if I conclude it, that means if I conclude the whole thing I am just defining an array a of 3 equal to 1 1 4 and 6 right then if I put b equal to a b equal to a that means that b stores the address of the 0th element then b plus 1 or b plus plus will indicate the address of a of 1 ok b plus 2 indicate the address of a of a of 2 now what is star what if if i write star b plus 
1. That indicates, as I mentioned in the previous lecture, star value indicates the value stored at the address of, right? So, this indicate value stored at address of B plus 1. That means, it indicate A of 1, not the address of A of 1, value stored at A of 1. What is the value stored at A of 1? It was 4. That was 4. So, to summarize it again, I will draw those things here. This is 1, this is 4 and this is 6. This is a 0th element, 1st element, 2nd element, address 2000, 2002 and 2004. Now, I am writing b equal to a, okay, b equal to a. Now, if I simply ask a computer to print of b, it will give me 2000. If I simply said star b, it will give me 1. If I say b plus 1, B plus or let's say B plus two, B plus two, that indicates B zeroth element plus two. So the third element, there it is, address of third element that is two thousand four. Now if I say star of B plus two that is the value stored at the address of b plus 2 value stored at b plus 2 that is 6 that would be 6 i hope this is very clear i will add a few more examples uh, related to the how how to you know use pointers to access the element now you please try to see this video again and again there are limitations obviously this is this uh, it's very difficult for me to write on this board because I'm using my fingers to write so it's not very easy to write on this but within the limitation I hope you understood all the important points here okay stay tuned for the subsequent videos thank you